Hey guys, it's Phil from Poles to Bears. Just giving you an update on our position in U.S. Steel. A lot has happened over the last couple of days and I just wanted to bring you up to speed. If you look at our position in U.S. Steel right now, we have now taken the last three trading days. Again, after 7-1, we were at... Uh, um, 201 shares purchase price that day on the first was six dollars and eighty three cents our cost average was six dollars and ninety three cents then on the eighth today is the ninth which was yesterday at 1104 in the morning we bought another hundred shares at six dollars and seventy three cents the market was down U.S. Steel was trading down with the market, which we don't mind. We like to see that integrity to the market is what we talk about. And you got a cost average of $6.86. Now, the market opened up this morning, took a pretty big hit. If you look at the, the opening bell of the market today, it was down significant. Right now, we're still down 292, 293 points. U.S. Steel is at $6.71. So let's take a look at what we did. We turned around and at 10.55, I bought 100 shares at 6.73, bringing the cost average down to 6.83, $6.83. That gave us one, two, three, 401 shares at 6.83. Then the market you know, dumped a lot more, went from down 200 and change to down uh, in the 400 range. And then, so what I did was I looked at it as still showing good integrity to the market. I like how that U.S. Steel is trading at these levels. So at 11.10 a.m., we bought another 100 shares. Purchase price was $6.66, bringing our cost average down to $6.00. And 80 cents now here's the thing you know we've experimented with various levels of where you should make your next cost average by your next price average by um, what we've come up with at various times in different markets it changes a little bit what I'm trying to do here basically is keep my cost average within roughly 10 cents of the current market price now the current market price is six dollars and seventy one cents and my cost average is six dollars and eighty cents and as you can see we now have a you know starting to grow into a fairly significant position of five hundred and one shares at nine cents off of being in profitability this is what we talk about when when the market comes in we like when a stock shows integrity to the market not that we like it to always go down, but we like when it's going down and there's a reason, and that reason is the market action bringing it down. Now, if you look at the Dow overall, these are all the Dow stocks here, by the way. The Dow's down 300 points right now. Most of the Dow stocks are down. But if you look, there's a couple. There's Microsoft, Cisco. Their tech stocks, they tend to trade more with the NASDAQ. And look, the NASDAQ's up a little bit. So this makes sense. The market's showing good integrity today. you got Seagate Technologies. you got AMAT. Now, again, Walmart's the interesting one. I pointed this out a couple of sessions ago. And again, it's showing tremendous um, you know, strength compared to the market. The market's down 300 points today, and Walmart's up $2.81. just want to show you, this is a five-year chart. We've been having uh, some technical difficulties here, so I'm going to try to do this the right way. Reload the site. Now, on the free trading view account that we'll be showing you how to get on, they they do have their advertisements. They've got to make money somehow, too, and we don't mind that. And that's what you just saw. So let's see if this works. I'll pull it up. Here you go. Now, here's the... Five now that's US there. I'm sorry. Let's go back to Walmart. Let's go. This is the five year chart. So you see, it's been a nice run up. Made a nice cut with handle pattern here that ended up following through in the long term. 
right here, what it did was it, it hit a high. It went to 127. It broke through the 100 barrier. Stocks tend to gravitate and, and push through those round numbers, test high, and then pull back and then run back again. So what I'm seeing here with Walmart is this is just a teaching lesson, nothing to do with U.S. Steel, but I wanted to show you what I'm looking at here is here's the Dow Jones Industrial, and there's those ads again, by the way, and what we're going to do is we're going to compare it to Walmart to see the relative strength or the relative weakness to the market. And as you can see here, it is kind of trending, you know, exactly as the market's trending all the way through here. But all of a sudden, the market dipped here strongly, yet Walmart didn't do that. And now since then, as the market's rallied back from March, and it's rallied back up, it, it peaked here, and it made a 52-week high there. Um, and what we're looking at here is it pulled back a little bit, in this pullback to the market, but the market's still coming back. You see 324 today and Walmart breaking higher. I think with Walmart, it's showing relative strength to the market. That's on a longer term basis. Let's look at the daily chart. You see the divergence? Market's coming in, Walmart's going higher. So, what this tells me is relatively strong to the market. I think you're going to see Walmart break out here. Look at this. See the divergence between the Dow and Walmart? I think you're going to see a nice breakout here. And, you know, I think Walmart's going to move to higher levels. Probably see a test of 150 range here based on the price to uh, market action. But once again, getting back to U.S. Steel, we like our position. We're in a position right now where at 680, we're 10 cents off. We're trying to keep that price average within 10 cents. So the next move up in it, we can see a very nice, very nice gain. And um, that's what happens with these things. The tighter you can keep it into the, the current price, the better chance you have of making money when it turns around and makes its next upswing, which I think is going to happen fairly quickly here. I mean, look, look at the chart. Look at the chart. Dow's breaking down. U.S. still showing some strength. I think it's finally hit a bottom here. You know, you look at some of these other stocks, and they're down 4%. 5%, U.S. Steel is only down 1.6% on the day, showing some relative strength, We're keeping our price average very close to the current price. Uh, but then again, who knows, guys, tomorrow the market could dump a 1,000 points and we'd be buying more as it pulls in. That's what the price action uh, trading method, the building positions method calls for. That's what we do, and we keep doing it until there's the next breakup. It doesn't even have to be a major break upward, but the next break upward, and then all of a sudden we're looking at taking nice profits off the table. So we're in good position. You know, study this. Study what we're doing here. You look at the, you know, the buys. And I'm putting the times in now so you guys can see, so you can go back to the charts and track on the, the days that we're doing this at those times where it was and what we were seeing at the time too. I think it's just another added uh, depth of your training uh, in learning to be a, a good stock trader here. So again, we're sitting here with 501 shares, $6.80, waiting for the next breakup. If in the next couple of days we see a nice upturn in the Dow after a couple of down days, I think we're in profitability. Uh, we will be looking at Rearranging. We had a sell stop in there. See if we still have it. Um, let's see. Now, it looks like they canceled it out on me. Sometimes they cancel out limit orders, um, you know, within a couple of days. So, um, yeah, we're going to put it, we're going to recalculate our targets for 20% above the 680. And then we will add that to it come up with our target and we'll put in a sell limit order at that price so we're first in line when the market comes up and the stock takes off and we take our profits off the table. So that's it for now guys. I'm Phil from Bulls to Bears Trading. Come check out what we're doing. Shadow us. Get a free account on TradingView and do what we're doing and start to get a feel. And I think if you do that, you're going to want to be doing business with us. 
you know, we try to make our services affordable so beginner traders and advanced traders can all benefit and learn from what we're doing. Again, I'm Phil from Bulls to Bears. Look forward to our next session together. Mm -hmm.